what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video as you can see behind me we have a brand new build for the channel and for once it's not a kawasaki now let me introduce to you this 2018 triumph strict triple rs when i purchased this bike i did not know a whole bunch about this bike but since then i have done a ton of research on these bikes and they're simply amazing starting the front end over here we have this beautiful m50 brembo calipers they're monoblock calipers very very good quality stuff you also find this on the ducatis we have show a big piston fox over here we have all this rear suspension we have a brembo master cylinder all from the factory we also have a brembo rear caliper so i am sure you're gonna Gonna agree with me that this bike comes fully kitted from the factory it also has a beautiful tft display it also has a quick shifter system so this bike is fully loaded obviously it's not in the best condition and that's why we have it here so i'm gonna let you guys know all the damage i found on this bike i'm sure there's always something hidden and we can get the build on the way so starting from the front over here not bad it looks like the forks do have some damage but they do appear to be straight at the moment so that's really good we have no front fender as you can see that's also broken over there we have no turn signal on this side for some reason the horn is just dangling over there over here is the more concerning damage i found on this bike this case cover is completely destroyed it's cracked over there and it's actually cracked on the knees i've never seen this before so this was down pretty pretty hard the rear set over on the left side is also pretty damaged as you can see the mirrors handlebars all of that is pretty pretty destroyed we have some scratches over here that's going to buffer so i'm not really concerned about that the tail section appears to be in really good condition so i'm super happy about that same for this side over here the tail section appears to be really good we have a good rear set on this side no damage to the engine covers over here but going further over here we do have some more serious damage over here as you can see the turn signal is completely ripped up the radiator is busted as you can see it's leaking a whole bunch of coolant right over there as you can also see if the camera is going to focus there's a dent on the gas tank over there and another dent over here some stuff have been taken apart on this bike i'm not exactly sure why but we have a whole bunch of stuff to get into over here guys so some serious damage for sure but not the worst we've had on the channel for sure a few moments later Okay guys, now we have the 765 in the garage. It's all washed up, ready to get work done. It almost looks like there's no damage to it right now, but obviously there is some damage to it. And we're gonna start taking things apart, see what needs to be replaced. Let's start getting some parts in. So unfortunately, this bike did not come with a key and I have been waiting for a key for a very long time. I purchased this bike in February, March. 2024 and i've been waiting for a key for over three months definitely not fun it's not i'm not happy about it but it is what it is we are still gonna try to get some work done while we're waiting and hopefully we can get a key real soon it's another day in the garage and you will not believe the package i just received now what we have here is the keys for the motorcycle i've been waiting almost four months at this point it's crazy i've never had to wait this long for a key but i guess it's the first time for everything i'm just super happy i have one with me now so now i'm gonna go ahead and open this up for the very first time we have another envelope over here Oh, and we have the keys right over here. Excellent stuff. Now this key was cut with the VIN of this motorcycle and this was sent all the way from Triumph in the United Kingdom. So I'm hoping that this works because I gave them the exact VIN and it was cut that way. Oh yeah, as you can see, it does work. Super excited about that. Now I know this is not gonna start because obviously the battery is dead. But it's good to know that the key actually works. I know I said this already, but it's a good thing that we have this key now. That means we can get on with this build. Mmm, nasty. Connecting the battery charger. It's charging. And now the fun begins. guys 
guys as you can see right now we have the fuel tank removed from the motorcycle the air box is over here we have everything else the ecu is mounted here we have the abs module over there battery all that fun stuff i gotta say the air box on this bike looks very interesting and the frame the way it curves that's a sharp turn over there very very unique i definitely haven't seen that on any other bike i've worked on but as you'd expect we definitely have to do some cleaning in this area as you can see it's quite filthy and then i'm going to open up the air box see what condition the air filter is in and then even go further down low and look at those spark plugs all right guys now as you can see i have the air box open and you can see the air filter not in the greatest condition the air box is also pretty nasty there is lots of oil and bugs in here and the air filter is horrible it also has this module over here i'm not sure exactly what that is but we're going to take it off and take a look at it to see if there's any writings indicating what it is while we're in here we're also going to throw in a brand new air filter and keep moving forward so now i'm going to remove the air filter all right so it looks like this is the mobilizer system which is not going to be fun that means we can't even start this bike without getting the key program have that disconnected Now I'm going to disconnect the ECU brackets and we have the ECU disconnected. And now I'm going to disconnect the hose over here, just like that. And now we have the airbox assembly out. And now guys, with the airbox removed, as you can see, I've done a little bit of cleaning up here. I'm going to go ahead and pop out those coil packs. We can install the brand new spark plugs and then again, do some cleaning in that area. And now we have the bolt for this bracket out of the way. I can now pull out this coil pack. So in order to remove the last ignition coil, I'm going to need to remove this plastic trim over here. It's similar to the one on this side, just on this corner. So I'm going to remove the two bolts that secures this in place. There's one over here and one over here. And then I can move this out of the way and remove the ignition coil. I'm not an engineer, but this is the worst design. So you gotta remove all this to be able to clear that tiny piece over there. Not good. Now with both bolts out, we can move this out of the way to get that piece out. Just like so. And now we have the last ignition coil out of the bike. Oh my goodness. This thing's is super tight. All the spark plugs look to be in really, really good condition. Super happy about that. I believe these were recently replaced, but since we have new ones, we might as well throw it in. All right, guys, and now we have the new plugs. There are three of them because obviously this is a three cylinder bike and this is the specified one by Triumph. So before we install this, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the spark plug gap is within specification. And now that I've checked that this is within specification, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. So we have one here, the second one, and the third one. Now reinstalling the ignition coils. install this trim back and wrap the wires back in place i've cleaned this as good as possible i'm gonna go ahead and install the air box which is also cleaned out way better than it looked before Alrighty guys, as you can see, the next part we're going to throw on the Triumph is this beautiful KNN and Formant air filter. Brand new one is ready to go in the bike. Big difference. Now with the air filter installed, we're going to install the air box cover and I've also cleaned out. Now guys, I'm sure you're gonna agree with me that things are looking much better up here. 
replaced the spark plugs, brand new air fuel till we cleaned out a whole lot of debris and just junk that was just built up over time. We're gonna do the same this way. But now we're gonna move up top here. The next thing we're gonna do is start throwing brand new levers. As you can see, this lever is broken on this side. The other one on the other side is scratched up. Uh, the bar ends are pretty gnawed up, so we're gonna replace that. The grips are pretty worn. We're gonna change that too while we're up in the front area of this motorcycle. Now I'm gonna start by removing this clutch cable. Clutch cable is out. And now I have the clutch lever out. Over here, we have our brand new levers. As you can see, it's already been opened up. But very, very important tip, guys. When most people install levers, they forget to remove this brass bushing that sits in here. This needs to be removed and swapped over to the replacement levers or you're gonna have lots of play in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, toss it in this one, add some grease in there. And now we can throw this on the bike. Now installing the fitting. And you can see some of that grease out here. Now I'm gonna secure the lever in place. Before I reinstall the clutch cable, I'm gonna go ahead and loop the clutch cable. I have the adapter over here. Now that's fully locked in place. This is excellent. So you basically wanna do this until you have some lube coming out from this other end of the clutch cable. So now with the clutch cable fully looped up, we're ready to take this bad boy out and continue the work. And now the clutch cable is fully installed. We have nice actuation. Perfect. Yeah, as you can see, this grips are in really poor condition. Let's change that. Right, so I haven't seen this before. It looks like Triumph wants you to run the uh, proprietary grip. The grip has all these inserts over here. So this tabs, I guess, lock in here. We're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be taking this off, standing the smooth, and we can run the pro grips that I usually run on all my builds and uh, throw some super glue, old fashioned way. Comes off pretty easy, like so. Done. Now with all the tabs removed, we're gonna scuff it off a little bit. And now that we're taking care of things up front, the next part that's gonna go on this bike is this beautiful grips from Pro Grips. I usually love throwing this on my bike. Super nice, very nice feel to this. So let's touch this on. And now with the grip glue added, we're ready to touch this bad boy on. Got the right side. Oh, the left side. Same for this side. We got some grip glue on the throttle too. I'm gonna go ahead and install the grip. Now it's on, looks beautiful. Excellent. Now, as you can see, we have the stock Brembo master cylinder lever out. And as you can see, we need to remove this component over here to install it in the aftermarket units. All right, guys, so unfortunately, why taking this lever apart to extract the piece we need, which is all of these components over here to install on the aftermarket lever. As you can see, this snapped clean out. That's the backing piece over there. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to install the new shoddy lever on the right side of the motorcycle, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and get that piece ordered and install it at a later time. But in the meantime, we still have a whole lot of work ahead of us, parts to throw on this bike and hopefully get it started in this video. So the next thing we're going to do is take care of this situation over here. We're going to get rid of this and install some brand new LED turn signals. Have the first one now. And the second one now.
right guys as you can see everything is reinstalled i'm certain you're gonna agree with me that it's looking much cleaner than it did before i am super happy about this it is quite time consuming but the end result always makes you worth it All right guys, so next I'm gonna be installing on this bike uh, custom LED tail lights. I'm gonna have the brackets from the stock one, mount it on the tail tidy, and install the tail lights I've picked up for this bike. We have everything loosely fitted. The turn signals are working, the license plate light is working, the brake light is working. Same as the front over there. I really like this design. It's very nice, very compact, but yet very bright. On the left front corner of the motorcycle, I'm going to bring back in the stock wire so we can install the aftermarket LED turn signal. And now we have the stock wire sticking out here. I'm going to install the LED lights in here like so. And now guys, as you can see, I have that fully secured in place, fully wired up. Really like how compact this is. And as you can see, that LED is bright. And of course, same for the back end. That's working in sequence with the front end super happy about that unfortunately i will not be able to install the same thing on the right side of the motorcycle because if you do recall everything in this area was damaged and the front outer piece is also missing so i'm gonna have to replace that all right guys it's another day in the garage i have a feeling that this video is going to be all over the place because there's just so many little things i've been trying to get done on this bike and it's been a headache to say the least but as you can see i installed another battery because the other one just won't take any charge we have this battery in here now and now when we actually turn on the bike it actually works because the other battery was just there was no saving the other one but now as soon as the bike turns on we have that beautiful tft display and right away we have the fault for the mobilizer this bike's not going to start without getting any program so my goal right now is to get uh, an appointment at the dealership get this programmed because we have two brand new keys as you can see and see if we can start this baby up and hopefully she sounds good because as you obviously know i already started throwing parts on this bike we have the beautiful pro grips really love this we have the brand new shorty levers excellent excellent feel really love that new grips on that side we fixed up the wine and the indicators in the rear end nothing crazy but some really decent mud that's going to completely tie this bike together when we're done with it Two thousand years later it's another day and we just came back from the dealership and i have some bad news so i dropped off the triumph at the dealership i waited about an hour and i got a call back from the dealership telling me they could not program the brand new keys i got from triumph to the motorcycle again that absolutely makes no sense because the key was ordered directly from triumph with the vein of this motorcycle and the dealerships have no answer for me so that puts me in a really bad spot but we're still gonna get some work done on the bike in the meantime the next part that's gonna go on this bike is the engine covers it is very unfortunate that people don't throw this on their bike as soon as they get it i always talk about this things like this can be prevented with things in this box i urge everyone to throw some of these engine covers on your bike it will save you a fortune and so much work but now we're gonna go ahead and toss the two that's on the other side depending where we get this one from the dealership. I did not point this out before, but I also ordered this case cover when I ordered the key over three months ago. There's still no ETU and when I'm gonna get this case cover. So I'm probably gonna pop this off, see if I can get this repaired in the meantime. So when we do get this immobilizer programmed, we can have this bike running. I have the case covers for this bike. One, two, and the third one. Slaps on. The next part I'm going to be turning on the 765 is going to be a maintenance part or prevention part, whatever you want to call it. It's very, very common in these bikes for this shaft to actually snap on you. So there is a company out there that manufactures this brace. I pretty much slides in there and secures it in place i'm gonna have some pictures of what i found online in the forums and whatever lots of people have had this same problem you're shifting this completely snaps on you that's not gonna be a good day so to prevent that i've picked up this bad boy over here we're gonna install it in the hopes we never have to deal with that and now we're gonna pop this shift rod off Now we can remove this piece. And now I have access to the 8mm bolt securing the sprocket cover. And now we have the sprocket cover out. Lots of build up in there. Oof. And now we have access to the two 8mm bolts that needs to be removed. 
Now I'm ready to install this brace. As you can see, there's some grease in here just so it moves smoothly in that shaft. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. That's good. Now I'm gonna secure this with the longer hardware that was provided in this package. I will not be throwing in the sprocket cover just yet because we're gonna be changing up some stains up in this area soon. But I'm gonna reinstall this piece, line it up, reinstall the shift rod and try it out. Yeah. Still works as it's designed and now it's protected. All right guys, the next part that's going on this bike is the full EvoTech protection kit. We have frame sliders, we have front and rear axis sliders. I believe it's gonna completely transform this bike's look. So without much more talking, let's go ahead and support the engine so we can start throwing in the frame sliders first. Got that bolt out. Now, as you can see, because the engine is sitting right on the jack, everything is still perfectly lined up. I'm just gonna go ahead and install a frame slider on this side, and then we can start talking into specification. Now, over on the right side, we're gonna repeat the same process. Have the stock hardware out. Now I install the beautiful Evo Tech slider. Now I'm gonna go ahead and talk this to specification. And now the next parts I'm gonna throw on this bike are the front and rear axle sliders. And this side. And crank into place. For this axle sliders, I could not find any torque specs. I'm just gonna snug it up. That's perfect. And now I'm gonna install the rear axis slider. Now the bobbins go on. And now guys, just like that, as you can see, we have the front protection package. We've got to protect those Brembo's guys. And we have the same for the rear. And we have the frame sliders. Gotta keep the bike safe. So with that all installed, we have one final part to get installed in this video. And I think that's gonna make a big difference when we can get this bike finally started up. Have that out. And we have this big old bad boy out of the motorcycle. And now I'm gonna install the brand new link bike. All right guys, now as you can see, the link pipe is fully installed and secured. Looks brilliant. And now we have the beautiful SC Project exhaust that's gonna completely tie this together. I can't wait to actually get this bike started because obviously we've never had a three cylinder bike on the channel. And I've also actually never heard what this actually sound like. So I'm super eager to hear this. And now we're gonna install the muffler. And it looks brilliant already. All right, guys, as you can see, we've turned a whole bunch of parts on the 765, even though we're unable to start it up. This is very unusual for me. I never usually throw any parts on a motorcycle until I know for sure it's stats and run good. I'm pretty confident that this is going to start up whenever we have the immobilizer situation figured out. But on that note, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the brand new beautiful channel. It is very unusual compared to what we've always done on here. Be sure to copy some merch and help support the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to